Okay, so this video tutorial is going to cover the basic game controls for Lock on the Tactical, the digital version of the game. All right, so to start out, real easy. If you want to scroll around, look at different areas of the map, you can either do that by taking your cursor, like you see, and scroll into each edge, or you can also use the W, A, S, and D keys, or the arrow keys. So whichever you prefer, real easy, scrolls you right around. Now you can also zoom in or zoom out on the map and that's easy as well. It's just using your mouse wheel or you can use the plus and minus keys if you wanna hotkey it. I find it easy to just use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. When it comes to selecting your units, one of the hotkeys you can use is tab. So if you wanna select between your different stacks, just hit tab and you see how it's bouncing around between the different units that I have available just by pressing the tab key over and over. You'll notice that it's actually skipping this stack here, this um, stack of uh, paratroopers here located in this building, and it's skipping those because they're not able to be activated. So when you press tab, that's only going to select between the units that you can actually do something with. Now you can also click to select your unit. So if you wanna select, let's say this stack here, let me get off of this stack we can right click to select this stack. And if I want to unselect this stack, I just left click on it to unselect these units. So if I'm not selected on any stack of my units, you see we can left click on a hex and it'll show you what's in that hex at the bottom of the screen here. So if I click here where these German units are, for example, it shows me what German units are in that hex and then empty hexes don't show anything and so on. Now, like I was saying earlier about these paratroopers who can't be selected, the ones that can be selected will have their hexes highlighted. So you see this stack here has their hex highlighted, same with this stack and same with this stack here. These units don't have any border around their hex because they can't be activated during this phase. If we scroll in, you can actually see that they have the little move icon already on them because they have already moved during this phase. Now, let's say we've got our stack selected here, but we don't want to control all of them. We want to select between them. You can do that located here in that bottom square where all the different units are by clicking in between them. So you see, if I'm clicking on the different units, it will pull them in and out of what units are selected. So if I just have the leader here selected, or if I want to have another uh, squad located with him or add this back into it, you can just select and by clicking on these units to determine which ones you want to activate or just click, like I said, the entire stack to activate everyone together. If you wanna just activate a single unit, just right click on them and it'll select just that unit and obviously any attachments they have like squad weapons. Now also while we're looking down in this box, if you hover your cursor above the unit, you see how a screen pops up and it shows all the details when it comes to that unit. A uh, little bit about who they are, what unit they're attached to, and then their actual number. So we see here that it shows us their firepower, their range, their movement, their morale value, smoke land capability, and that they may assault move as well. Down at the bottom of that box, you see it does show the front and the reverse of the counter and also what they'll reverse to if they take casualties. 